Alright, so what is up everybody, and welcome to, once again, Minecraft. Now, this looks like a normal world. This is one I've been playing on in my own time. Pretty normal, there's my not-so-done house that looks kind of like turd. Another portal I created. Oh, there's a boat over there. It was pretty cool, it was pretty nice. Um, I got some good loot, you know, you see, I got some good stuff. But that's beside the point. Today, you've read the title correctly. We are going to be playing with Share Packs, which I don't play with at all because I just now figured out how to do it. So as you can see, I have two shaders and I'll be comparing them. So you got Continuum and CUDA shaders. So I'll be linking both of these in the description, but I gotta say the website I got them off of was kinda sketchy. <sighs> now, if you turn on your game, whoa, look, uh, stuff has to load in. My chunks have to go and load. You can see the lava's kinda not doing okay. The water looks pretty good though. I mean, there's like actually tides and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. Now, if I just go ahead and water bucket down. Um, as you can see, the sun, like, reflects off the water. Now, this is used something, uh, called ray tracing, which basically takes a light source, and then, based on the surface it touches, it manipulates the light, uh, to how the camera will see it. So, like, yeah, like, see, like, here's my shadow. Like, look at that. That looks so real. That's so weird. So, yeah, you can go over here. We got this glowstone lantern here. Um, now, like, see, like, look at that. Ow, it's kind of bright. Um, the only thing I don't like about this shader pack is, like, lava sometimes. Like, if lava's a solid source, then it looks good. Like, look at that. It has, like, a glow going for it. It's pretty neat. But if you uh, make it a running lava source, texture glitches, I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm on fire. If you're wondering, like, waterfalls look like that, too. They kind of have that ripply effect. The nether turns you back into normal Minecraft in this shader. Yeah, see, look at that. All that shadering is back. Shadering. In this one, the eyes of your character adjusts to the light you're seeing. So if you look at your eyes, will slowly become atoned to what you're seeing. But when you look at the lava, everything else kind of darkens, and all you can see is the light from the lava. It's pretty cool. So it's like real eyes adjusting. Blinding glowstone. And then, of course, shaders with monsters is the most terrifying experience ever. Your, uh, I just had it. Whatever. Um, you, you get what I mean. So... That's definitely very cool, like you got your, your cacti and your shadow. There's lots of cool stuff with this shader pack. I mean, I gotta say, I, I was really impressed when I first downloaded this that like, it actually ray traces color. So like, if you have a colored block here, it like actually, it actually cares. <laughs> the clouds look good too. So as you can see, I am setting it to rain. Yeah, I got this village. I've never actually been in one of these villages before. I have no idea if these are even good, but... I've never been in, like, one of these, uh, what is this called? A Tayaga biome? Savannah biome. Hey, this dude's, this dude's got a barrel. The shaders, and let's do the Kuda ones. So now things are gonna change. So, oh, okay, so as you can see, it's raining. And stuff's already different. So see, like, the ground of this roof is shiny. So that's one thing they did that I really liked, is when it rains, all these surfaces get all shiny and water jiggles around in the rain and it looks pretty realistic i gotta say the nether looks significantly different from the other one see you still got that bluish effect you go underwater you still got the blue skies that's pretty cool but um you go to the nether and stuff actually looks pretty different um but see here we go here we're in the end and look at that heat mirage look at that look this makes me really feel the heat over here. It's like, you got that wonderful heat mirage effect. Now, I find it kind of annoying when you're in survival because you're like, you're trying to navigate the nether, you know, you're you're basically on the ground and you're walking around and see, like, you can't see anything that's ahead of you because it's jiggling around and it's like, woo. And I think that's a fortress over there, but it just gives you that effect that the nether is very hot and intimidating. Um, all right, let's try and make the end portal here. Oh guys, look, it's a sunrise. Look at that. It looks really nice. All these shaders do such a good job with sunrises. Like, look at that. You can't even see the sun, but it still just looks so good. Ugh. Hmm. Kind of suspicious on that one. Kind of suspicious. Don't know about that one. I'm, I'm not very sure about this one. I'm, I'm not... I'm not entirely sure. 
Hello. Ooh. It looks like the shader does continue over to the end. Look at that. It's like slightly glitchy. That's really weird. Whoa, okay. So let's see. Like, oh, wow. The, yep, these glow. Look at that. You can blow them up. Let's see what the dragon dying looks like. We'll just see what that looks like real fast. Alright, draggy poo. Are you ready to die again? Are you ready to dry die, draggy poo? Well, Look, that's kind of cool looking. You got your your egg, and then of course your your end portal. Um, so that's pretty cool. So we'll leave off this episode with me drowning into the dark depths of despair. Considering I've played Minecraft for a long time and I haven't explored this kind of stuff, it's kind of sad. So I guess that is the end. The end.